Oh, you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. It's still the voice of hardcore boxing, I suppose. Now, a few people have been sending in emails and leaving texts saying, Porky, you want me to go with Eddie Hearn? Eddie Hearn, you're not well, Porky. You're mentally ill. Now, that may be the case, but you people are still watching, aren't you? All you haters and trolls. And you know who you are, don't you? The ones that think you rock hard and you've got a lot of mouth, but you never seem to do anything, do you? There's a lot of gunners in the boxing industry. Gonna do this, we're gonna do that. They're gonna do wonders, all you do is shit cucumbers. All talk, all mouth, and all these people who think they're rock hard. Nobody does anything, do they? Nobody does a thing that's got loads of mouth, haven't you? Loads of things to say on social media. Just come up to office and say it. You've got a problem with what my channel does and says, come and say it. Don't be hiding behind one of these. That's what you people are, you just chat. That's what you chat. What a bull, right? Now, the point I'm trying to make is this. If I want to mention Eddie Earn on my channel, I'll mention him. It's very hard not to, right? Eddie Earn, let's talk proper here. Eddie Earn's got 12... He's got 12 heavyweights out of the top 25, and the, the other 13 he's looking to make fights with or trying to sign to unsettle the other promoters. That's how business works. That's just one division. Boxing has 17 weight divisions and he's got people in every division. Now if he's going to take over, he's going to do the job properly. He's already got people from the programme, the only way is Essex. He comps them all tickets to shows. What he does, he tells them all to put it on the social media about his show. So they're putting it to millions of fans. These people on TOWIE, there's 33 actors on TOWIE. And they've all got between 1 million and 7 million followers. So he's doing their job for them. They all drink in a nightclub called Sugar Up. Eddie's in there regularly, lives near there. He's doing his job. He's a good businessman and he knows what he's on with. He's milking the system, he's doing, putting shows on in different areas in the country. He's got 20 sky dates, 3 million a year, 150,000 pounds going into the pot. He tries to sell the arse out every show, so every all the fighters and all the doormen, doctors, judges, nurses, whoever, they all get paid, pundits, the lot. So he can try and keep that 150 grand every show. That's how promoters work. They don't want to dip into that money. They want to get away with putting on as little value fights as possible to try and keep that money because they're paid that money first. That's how it works. I know that because I work with Dennis. He's got a TV deal and he's had deals with Sky, BBC, ITV, Channel 5, Spike TV. He's dealt with HBO, Showtime. So I know how it works. They don't want to break into that TV money. They want that for themselves. Eddie will want that three million a year. And if he can get that, that's brilliant. But he's getting more than that. So it's hard for me not to talk about somebody that's got a TV deal in England and a TV deal in America. A big company like own. Frank Warren's not got that. He's got BT in England. He ain't got a deal in America. Bob Arum's got ESPN, not Frank. Frank works with Bob Arum. Eddie's got Dazone, hasn't he? He's got Sky. He's got Coogan Cassius as company IFL nipping it all together. So if I was to do a video and not mention Eddie Earn, there'd be something wrong, wouldn't there? So you're the gimp. I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a mention. Mr. Ashley Lewis, you gimp leaving messages like that on my YouTube. You're a gimp. You don't know boxing industry. I work in boxing industry. I do this here, don't I? Channel. And I work for Dennis. We've got an office up there in one here, so I do know a little tiny bit about what goes on. Yeah, I would refuse a second license, but I studied Green Book for Boxing Board of Control. I know what goes on. 
I know all other sanctioning body books, I know all rules. If there's a problem, it's me who gets a call here. And let me tell you this, I don't take a wage out of boxing with Dennis. I don't take a wage. I'm there to learn. Yes, there are other things that I get looked after with, but that's nobody else's business. I don't take a penny out of boxing because we're trying to build something. All right. But Eddie Hearn's the number one guy. He's the number one in the world. Adam's not got a TV deal in England. Eddie's got two TV deals. He's got one ear and one ear. He's got best of both worlds and he's got Coogan nipping it together. And he's got the EIS at Sheffield on lockdown. Joshua's trainer is the managing director. He's the main man there. He says who he says when he says how much. We've got matchroom fighters up there that are managed by Joshua who was trained by the managing director of the building in a lottery funded fucking building. So don't tell me about me mentioning Eddie Hearn in fucking videos you little prick. Alright? Fucking sick of you little gimps. Look, it's very hard not to mention him innit? But you know, you know, the people going on about stuff like that no, well, Eddie Hearn's telling us British boxing's booming, right? Adam Smith's telling us it's booming, right? Tyson Fury's just fought how many fights in America on trot? Wilder, Swartz, Wallin, and now he's fighting Wilder again. That's four fights from our best, our best heavyweight, or second or first best, whichever you choose. Joshua's just fought in New York. He's just fought in Saudi. Now it looks like Saudi and, and America don't want the pool left fight. Who wants a, a, a Bulgarian that's got a bit of a stigma about him with some media woman from America? They dare put him on in America. Saudi don't want him, I don't know why. So they're going to have to come crawling back to England. Eddie Hearn's going to sell it as the homecoming. What it really means is America said, fuck off. Saudi said, fuck off. They've tried everywhere to get pool left on. They're going to come back to England, they're going to say, for the fans, for the fans. You know, like Chucky, friends to the end, oh my God. And I've got people digging me out. Don't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I'm trying to advise you people, but you're not fucking getting it, are you? You're not fucking getting it. Look, we've got you, this is what, but British boxing's booming, right? Right, British boxing's booming. Eddie Hearn's running around saying women's boxing's fantastic. We've got women's boxing, they're fighting for world titles after three and four fights, right? We've got like, Shannon Courtney's in a division, right, where there's two people in their division in Britain. There ain't even enough people to fight an eliminator for a British title. Or a final eliminator. There's seven people in England in Terry Harper's weight division. She's a great fighter, but there's seven people in their division. There ain't enough women out there. To, but they've got to sell it because it's politically correctness. You know, we've got that issue. That's what Eddie Hearn's created. You know what I mean? You've got, you've got PED cheats left, right and centre. Who's failing PEDs that we don't know about? Because if Thomas Hauser hadn't said anything about PEDs, we'd have never known about the Dillian White issue. We've got Liam Cameron getting four year from UCAD, four year ban for one offence. Tyson Fury, three offences, two year ban. Don't tell me British boxing's booming. Tyson Fury gets his two year ban, he goes to America. We've got pay-per-view, it's up 25 quid. It was 15 quid not long ago. 15 quid, 25 quid. We've got stub up. We've got to stub up for a ticket now for Joshua fights because we can't get them from Arena. Stub up. And they're putting a drink on top, sometimes double. You know, <laughs> and we've got YouTubers who are taking up boxing and they're giving them pay-per-view slots. They're giving them pay-per-view slots in, in England. And I've got people telling me I'm having a pop at Eddie Hearn. I'm having a pop at Eddie Hearn. Pay-per-view is a joke. Pay PEDs 
all these drug tests, are, it's not being handled correctly. But British boxing's booming! My mate Dale, right, Dale Nichols, he, he, he's sent me a few texts today and he's just wised me up to things that, you know, things that he's saying because nobody's saying it, are they? We've got YouTube media outlets with, bro with, with press passes who have got access. They don't mention any of this. They don't mention it, and me, well, I mention it, don't I? And I get threats, I get cars damaged, I get letterboxes damaged, I get... I get threats. You're not allowed to say anything, we're living it. Everybody's so insecure in boxing. Everybody is insecure. We've got managers, trainers, promoters out there that are sucking up to Eddie Hearn because they want to work with him. And these same people are saying that it's great that these fights are in Saudi because fighters are going to get paid what? How can you spend all this money? Well, well they're going to get 100 million each or 80 million each. What's all that about? Why is that? Well, that's great because they want to get their fighters on the card. And yeah, I can understand that, but how much is enough? Don't tell me British boxing is booming. It's booming for one person, Eddie Hearn. Frank Warren's just on company house and he's put his accounts out. 1.1 million profit last year, that's £22,000 a week. 1.1 million. <laughs> well, we know Eddie, you can time Eddie earns by about 40 or 50 times that. That's the divide. But then you go, look, I, I can show you uh, figures that the Dennis shows made. It's a, they're running at a loss. So, how's British boxing booming? It's booming like the football industry. We have the Premier League. And then we have the, the Ryman League, don't we? It's not get, The cake is not getting shared out. You know, our best middleweight is who? Billy Joe Saunders. Where, is he, where does he fight now? What? Did you say America? Our best middleweight in a glamour division fights in America. We've got Conor Ben, WBA rank number six. He's fighting who? Who is he fighting? Johnny Garton. What, what about the guys above him to progress? Well, it's okay because he's got a deal with JD Sports and if he's undefeated and he gets a ranking with, w, with any sanctioning body in the top 10, he gets bonus after bonus. Well, you, you just have a word with, if you're a promoter, you just have a word with WBA. Give Conor Ben a ranking, he's on a bonus. That's how it works, it's rotten to the core, rotten to the core. Pay-per-views that now a joke. What is... Who's the pay-per-view star in England now? Joshua, yeah. Tyson Fury, yeah. Who else? Billy Joe? No. Who's Billy Joe Saunders' best win? Andy Lee. He's beat two world champions, Andy Lee and David Lemieux. Three if you count Eubank, but Eubank won a world champion when he beat him. Andy Lee were a light middle and Lemieux were a former champion. So who's Billy Joe's best win? He fights in America though. Callum Smith's won the WBSS. He don't fight anybody, does he? He's just been battered by John Ryder, bashed up, bashed up, punched upside down, and got a lopsided victory. What's all that about, eh? British boxing's booming, though. Fantastic, isn't it? British boxing's on fire. Great. We love it, don't we? Eh? Dillian White's a pay per view star. He's not even fought for a European title yet. But his next fight is his fifth pay-per-view. He's knocked back. Ortiz twice eliminators, Brazil eliminator, Pulef eliminator, and a fight at Wembley with Joshua for four belts. But Dillian White's pay-per-view, why is he knocking all them fights back? Because Matchroom need to fill the pay-per-view slot. But nobody's fucking listening. I'm a hater, I'm bitter, and I'm jealous. I just tell it straight. Everybody knows what I'm about. If anybody's got a problem, come and see me. And if I can't do you myself, or if you're too much for me, that's just how it goes, isn't it? So, but like I said, I'm not bothered about anybody. If I want to go anywhere, I'll go anywhere on my own with my camera. And people fucking know that. And if anybody's got a problem, come and see me. Don't be fucking sending daft fucking texts and emails and smashing up my mailbox. All right? Come and see me if you've got a problem. What I'm trying to do is groundbreaking. Nobody else dare fucking do it, dare you? Nobody's got no knackers 
Nobody's got no knackers to do what I'm doing. All right, in boxing industry, nobody. They're all yes men. They're all tiptoeing about. Somebody sent me some footage of a day, some media day in the gym. And they're all fucking tiptoeing about. Nobody dare say fuck all, do they? They drive all that way down south to a media day. And they want to ask something, but they don't ask it. Why? Because they don't want to lose the press access or the perks. What the fucking hell? Is? Would this happen in football or cricket? Would it fuck? They sit on there, Graham Sooner sits on there and he tore into Liverpool, didn't he, overnight when they beat Wolves. They squeaked by Wolves, didn't they? And he's talking about his friends and that and told it straight. We have boxing, we've got people on Sky having a fucking loving with the mates from St. Jim. We've got Paul Smith there talking about his fucking gym mates. I mean, how fucked up is this sport? How messed up is it? You know, we've got managers rimming Eddie Hearn. Not one more manager needs to ring me and tell me about Eddie Hearn and then go fucking rim him on Twitter. I don't want to fucking hear it. Don't tell me about it. Don't get in touch with me. If you're not prepared, if you want to tell me, fair enough, but then don't go and say opposite. Because some people send me screenshots all day. I can't get it on Twitter. My phone, my computer here at home won't allow it. Don't send, don't tell me stuff and then people sending me tweets what you said. Because if it happens again, I will fucking expose you. Don't do it to me. Don't be two-faced. Grow a fucking pair. Alright. Grow a pair. Fucking sick of yous. Media refusal to ask right questions, oh my god. Unbelievable. YouTubers fucking headlining. I mean, I, I, how bad has it got now? What, what, who, who's running the place? No, nobody's going to tell Eddie. You know what's going to happen? They'll bail out. Once Joshua's gone, once Joshua's gone and the Dazone's gone, Eddie and will go. He'll not go back to just work in Sky. They might just keep the dates just to piss everybody off and they'll let Frank Smith run it, but he'll go. He'll go. He'll do what Dennis does, he'll put music events on and festivals and stuff like that. Because it's easy money, isn't it? When you put a singer on, you've got a captive audience. You're just there to listen. If they have a bad day, it doesn't matter, you love that person. But when you've got two people fighting, you want to see a good fight. You don't want to see somebody getting dominated. But how many fights are we seeing now that are great fights? I mean, Luke Keeler against Andrade, what, what is that? Somebody's got... Somebody's going to get hurt. We've already had a kid die on one of Eddie Hearn's shows. Somebody's died on his show. And he's crying like that. He's crying like that. He's so upset about Patrick Day. But yet a week later he's putting drug cheats on his show. And you're telling me about having a fucking go at him. You're unbelievable. Unbelievable. And they're going to put Joshua and Fury on it in Saudi Arabia. Where they chop people up, they throw gay people off buildings. And you're going to have a go at me for saying that British boxing isn't fucking booming. British boxing hasn't been booming since Carl Frotch and Groves fought. That's the last time it was fucking booming. Don't fucking tell me. Don't tell me about British boxing booming. When they're putting fights on in Saudi or fucking Arabia! Hey up mate, are you here? I am running outside Right, alright. Right, I've got to go now, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport. Shout out to Innovation Allies and South Yorkshire Packaging. I apologise about the swearing, that's not for me, but I will click the button that says for 18 years above to watch this. Alright, peace out.